Hi guys, so today I am working with So Good Hair. So here's the box, it's way too bright for you guys to see. The box is too bright because they decided to have a white box and my legs do not like that. However, let's talk about this hair. So I was sent three 24s and a 20 inch closure. And upon first thoughts, the hair is super duper nice. It is in the body wave style. It's very soft, like it doesn't have that ashy feel, but upon first look, I am seeing a lot of flyaways and frizzies, specifically their baby hair. Their baby hair is um, questionable, a little in my opinion. So it's a little too frizzy for my liking and it's giving me, maybe I'll start shedding tees. It hasn't shed yet me handling it oh it actually is shedding so I want to see how it does after you know dyeing conditioning and styling and seeing how bad the shedding is but right now um, I'm a little weary to say the least I don't know how this will play out so you guys want to see how I got the coloring and the thumbnail go ahead and stay tuned but I do want to kind of talk about my process of breaking down coloring when I do inspo um, type videos what um oh first and foremost do not talk about my nails I'm getting a fill-in today uh, my nail tech has been out on vacation and I have been dying but when doing this hair coloring I noticed that it looks like the intricate part that's color is only the closure um, if you guys can look closely at the picture on the screen you'll see that the bundles are actually dyed a more periwinkle titanium color and it is the closure that has all of the ombre slash holographic detailing so I'm gonna do something a little bit different it's gonna be similar but not the same um, I don't want to have a periwinkle base only because I've been using that color a lot on the channel recently especially with the um, Buzz Lightyear video so I'm going to try to do a more lavender I don't know like a, a, like a purple more of a purple um, a happy purple I don't really know the color I'm going for but definitely more of a bright lavender happy purple as my base and then kind of go in with the detailing with a darker purple and some of the uh, holographic tones on the closure so that'll make it a lot easier because I can definitely just dip dye the bundles and then it wouldn't take long to do that detailing work on the closure so I know you've seen this process a million and one times on YouTube here so what we're gonna do is just take the 613 hair and dip it in some colored water. I'm using Lavender by Adore for this. Alright guys, so now we've gotten to the fun part. We are going to do the detailed holographic work. So to do this, you're going to need more than a few colors. Um, I have a lime green from Kiss. Um, I believe this is Sunrise Orange. Definitely Sunrise Orange from Adore. Sky Blue from Adore. Violet Gem. And the Lavender. Now, how we're going to do this is we're going to root it with the Violet Gem. Then we're going to hit it up with the Sky Blue. Then we're going to hit it up with the lime green, then the orange, and we're going to finish up probably with um, the lavender so it blends into the rest of the hair. So here is the actual order in which we'll be applying the color to get this um, effect. Now, I've never done this before. I'm hoping that the colors don't bleed. I'm hoping they don't become muddy. And to do that, there has to be a very detailed way of actually applying the dye to the hair so we're gonna get into that in just a second I did a test strip just to see if um, 
the colors I'm working with are close enough to the colors in the reference photo and what I found was that the sky blue is entirely too dark and we started to get more of a rainbow effect than a neon effect so I decided to go with baby blue from a door now this is still wet so this isn't the true to color color but what I did was I took a baby maybe about four drops of baby blue one drop of Adora Electric Lime. I'm not gonna be using this for the lime, I'm gonna use the Kiss, but I did have some of this left over, so I did use one drop of this and about four globs, I don't know how to explain that, of conditioner until I got this color. Now this is closer to the blue in the photo, so this is the blue we'll be using. We will not be using the sky blue. Please take note. Other than that, all the other colors look similar enough that I felt like I could pull off the effects. Um, this will not be the size of the strips either. This was just for me to get a big enough patch to know what I'm working with. So here is my um, closure. Do not mind the brown. That'll be covered up by the Violet Gem. It's just from me tinting the lace. Um, again, we're still working on tinting lace, but I think I've figured out a way to be able to tint lace without dyeing the hair as well. So when you're working with 613, this is just ink, you can wash this out. Um, I just don't have time to wash and dry this closure again. So, I also kept about a third of a bundle and this is just so that when we do make the wig, it's a little more full under here than if it was just the closure on top of the solidly colored bundles. It'll make more sense. Once the wig is made, I'll explain it in more depth. But I have this wig attached to my table so it doesn't move anywhere. Wig, frontal closure. Um, it's just attached there with one of the handy dandy like clips. And I've already separated it in half so it's easier to work with. So what I'm gonna be doing is basically separating and then applying the color and separating and applying the color. You guys will see that shortly. And I'm also going to be able to kind of line up the tracks with this portion so that the color on the tracks will line up with the wig once we make the wig okay so does that make sense so I'll be able to line up the track with the very edge of the closure and be able to line up the coloring so that this coloring isn't off center once we make the wig okay so to start I just did a line of demarcation of where I want that violet gem to end so that I'm not taking it too far down on any section of the painted hair. Um, I actually learned while I was painting that it's very important that you separate your layers. Um, I kind of knew that before starting, but I was like, eh, maybe I can get away with it. You can't. Go ahead and make sure you separate your layers with some cling wrap or some aluminum foil or something. This process. I'm going to go ahead and add that blue in now, right on top of that purple, and take it down a little bit farther. The blue is the one color I'm overpacking on um, because I want to make sure that since it has so much conditioner in it, it really saturates the hair. And that color does come through. And then I'm going to go over half of that blue and bring the green in. Once that's done, I'm gonna go in with the orange and kind of merge that with the green. Not worrying about blending too much. It doesn't look like the hair is very blended. It kind of just looks like chunks, so that's what we're gonna go for here. I'm gonna separate it. And we're gonna go on to the next piece.
Okay guys, so this was probably the most um, challenging wig I've done by far and I know I've said that on my channel but as I continue to grow and challenge myself, um, <laughs> this one ranks the top. So uh, really quickly I'm going to give you guys a rundown of what I've done, what I've done off the screen. So I finished dyeing it and then I dip dyed the ends of the closure. So I did that same watercolor method that you guys saw earlier and that's when I realized that it needed a little bit of something to kind of bring the orange into the lighter purple. So I went back in with that root color and added it in here which I think makes a great um, effect when the hair is in movement. Um, I could have probably blended it a little bit more, but I wasn't sure how it was coming out. And I'm going to let you guys know, the Violet Gem is very tricky to work with. I've mixed it with the Periwinkle um, to give it a cooler tone because it was coming out a little hot pink. Um, when you have, for some reason, the Violet Gem, I feel like if you don't dilute it or you don't make sure it's mixed from it has patches it it's a very patchy color and tricky color to work with so um keep that in mind if you do decide to go with that color for your uh deeper purple now i want to i want to show you guys what the hair looks like in movement because you really get that kind of a uh, reflective effect that holographic effect more so when the hair is moving than you do when it's like i feel like when it's just like this it just looks rainbow um but when it's kind of like in movement you definitely get that like oh okay yeah that eye trick makes sense so anyway i just ran the flat iron through the hair very quickly it wasn't an actual like styling i just i was getting ready to curl it because i do think this hair might look the effect might work better curled because i mean light bends so if the hair is bending, it would give that lighting effect. But I love the hair straight as well. So I'm a man of conclusion. I haven't decided yet. That's why it's not on my head. Also, I realized that I wasn't recording anything I was doing. So I had to come back to you guys. Um, I completely made the wig. The wig is three bundles. I believe I said of 24 and then a 20 inch closure. So um, I didn't do that on camera. The hair is nice and light. I do need to go back in and press out again. I just did a flat iron, so I do need to go back in with my, um, which has a hot comb and press out this closure. Also with the Violet Gym, be careful because you will get heat spikes. I don't know if you guys can see up here where it's turning a little pink. That is a heat spike. That is from me flat ironing it and you can see where my flat iron started and stayed there just a little too long. So. These are the problems you get when doing hair. Um, these are real life problems, and I'm trying to let you guys know about it. So, just keep, bear in mind that with color, affordable coloring, comes um, some great uh, finesses that you'll have to come come up with. Other than that, I think the hair color came out freaking amazing. I was so scared I was losing the blue during the coloring process because I was taking the green and mixing it up so high. But I'm glad I took that time to do that because I think the mixture of this hair color is like far freaking none. The only place where I think I didn't mix enough was where that violet gem and that lavender meets. So, um... Yeah, if I could go back and do that, I would focus more on blending the Violet Gem and the Lavender. But until then, I think this came out pretty darn good. My God, I am I'm living for this hair color. I don't know about you guys, but I'm definitely living for it. There we go. <laughs> A little bit more free. Um, yeah, so the next time you'll see this wig will be on my head and we can see it in live motion and we can really get to know her and get to know whether or not she is a fail or a finesse with this recreation. Um, I wouldn't, it's definitely inspired. I'm not sure if I, if I should call it a recreation only because I deliberately did not use the, um, same colors for like the base color and, um, I didn't do the two-toned back and front but for all intents and purposes i got completely inspired by royal ray and <laughs> she's a beast because 
um, mixing orange and green is a recipe for disaster. Mixing purple and orange is a recipe. So you guys can kind of see in here, um, I faded out that orange and even added a soft lavender. I um, added in a Doris soft lavender and the reason being because I wanted to have a buffer between orange and purple. And if you guys know your color wheel, you know exactly why. Um, as you can see, the green and the orange sometimes reflects like a brownie bronze, but that's what happens if you mix the colors. Um, and it's kind of impossible <laughs> to not mix the colors if you're blending the colors. So um, I didn't want to have that effect here and here. So I used a pink. I kind of um, looked up holographic film and holographic pictures and things like that. Um, and sometimes I would see like a pinky color kind of come in and blend down. So I thought, okay, I'll use like a pink and soft lavender is a perfect color for that because it's right in between a baby pink soft purplish color um all right you guys so this is the finished product atop my head um if i don't have the most energy in this after uh this after talk i don't know what i want to name this but if i don't have the most energy in this section it's probably because i'm just not feeling well today or really this week if you guys see my hair blowing all over the place like Beyonce it's because I have my little Beyonce fan it is a very hot in my studio with my lighting in the summertime basically the hair itself is really soft and really nice I'm not getting shedding um, from 613 bundles that is a huge plus however the closure I'm not a fan of now so I will say that the closure itself does not lay good with the bundles only because the closure just looks super flat to me and it's weird like maybe I just press I know I pressed it out a little too much only because um, I got heat spikes in the purple and that happens when you leave your flat iron or a hot tool on the coloring too long with some of the Adore dyes, mostly the blues and the um, things with blue undertones for some reason they'll get heat spikes so you'll see a little bit of hot pink if I like move the hair you'll see a little hot pink in the roots and that's just a heat spike I could dye it over and I do intend to just dye it over but I really need to get this video out because it's already been a week coming just dyeing this hair also I didn't make baby hairs and I completely regret it because um, the lace is too thick to kind of like finesse it without baby hair so I'm definitely going to have to baby hair this big bad boy up um, which I don't really like to do with closures, but I do it whenever the closure is a little too thick to lay flat as possible. Like you guys can clearly see that line of demarcation, even though it's not cut straight across, because I don't cut my glue straight across, it still looks kind of like hammer heady, and that's because of how thick the lace actually is, and it's like it's sitting off of my head. I colored the closure in like a little strip of actual hair, and both of the um the closure and the hair both took to the color the exact same and you can't tell where the color is where it separates all that good stuff this is um like a fantasy wig this is not a wig you would wear every day so i'm gonna wear it out today but like um it's hard when I do these colors to let you guys know the longevity of the hair only because you wouldn't wear this every day. My colorful wigs I wear like once a month really. Um, I don't tend to wear them on a daily basis like I do my black hair only because I mean I don't want to always beat my face and coordinate an outfit and, da, da, da. and you kind of got to do that when you're doing fantasy colors you have to make sure everything's coordinated like today. I did not get my stuff in the mail thank you Amazon. So. I did not have a really cute outfit to rock with this hair. I had a whole thing I was going to do and Amazon delivered my shit to someone else's house. Even took a picture of it. Whatever. Who cares? I don't. I have an attitude to that. Whatever. The actual hair itself, like I said, I didn't, I ran my straight and my flat iron through this hair one time and I have not done it again and the hair is straight like it's sleek straight it's awesome and it was a body wave so i'm actually super excited with that the luster of the hair is awesome like you guys see that like shine that it has that's really good um i'm able to run my hands through the hair no problemo so i would say all in all the actual 613 bundles from so good hair 
are so good. Um, again, the closure I was not excited about. I'm not too excited about it. I probably will go with like a frontal or something next time, just because I don't like how it's making my head look a little square. Like I want it to lay flatter, and it's just not doing so. Maybe if I take the wig apart and reconstruct it or something. But um, yeah, cons. Um, I noticed that the closure had those little seal knot things. I absolutely hate those. I think it makes it too hard to pluck the hairline to a good um, level. Like it doesn't look natural. And because you have like whatever that chemical is on the knots, I'm gonna figure it out, find out, and let you guys know because I always talk about talk about it. I don't like it. It's hard to pluck the hair out of the place and it also doesn't look good once you do pluck it because you often leave like little tiny short hairs which is what happened in my part they're like little tiny short hairs and I absolutely freaking hate that but it's so hard to completely pluck the hair out when it's sealed with those knots but I, I understand the companies might do that because 613 hair is way more fragile and they don't want the closures and frontal to shed so quickly so they'll seal the knots the hair color I really like and I think I like it more in motion. You guys can clearly see my tracks, but I like the hair color more in motion. Like when the hair isn't straight down, it's kind of like like this, like it's like zigzag. It looks so freaking good to me. My earring has fallen out of my ear. Okay. Um, I really really like the hair from So Good Hair. Not so much the closure, but I do absolutely love the hair, and it's taken to color freaking amazingly um i didn't have a, a lot of splotches or patches only where i didn't blend the the violet with uh the violet gem with the lavender do you really see like a line of demarcation or anything like that everything else has blended gorgeously and i am super super duper excited about this hair color um you guys let me know what you think about it down below and all ups go to royal ray for inspiring you to do this and for you guys for requesting it and <laughs> please request more because like i have be lost sometimes of what colors to do i love when you guys request things i have seen some requests down below um somebody did request a fairly our parents look so i will be doing that pretty soon that's coming up that is on the list so don't fret i saw you i saw you requested i'm gonna give you a shout out in the video for requesting it so do not fret um we're gonna do our cartoon color series and we're gonna rock with that for a while so if you guys have any other things you would like me to do just send it to me on instagram that's like my mode of like like inspiration right there like that's my like mood board or whatever if you guys send it to me on instagram i can kind of look at who did it and give them credit and things like that because i do post pictures of my wigs on instagram so i would love to give credit where credit is due and tag the original author so yeah anyway um i'm gonna get out of here because i've been stuck in the house all day and i get a little bit of cabin fever and i'm getting like irritated at every single little noise i hear so i need to get out of here but i'm gonna see you guys in my next tutorial i love you so much Mwah.